Making a texture which realistically degrades over time is complex and we often spending a lot of time tweaking various effects. Today I will show you how to make this rusty effect in a few steps. In this tutorial I will use Fluent Materializer and a model I made. You can find all the links in the description. For the base color I will let you copy what I did here so we can start with the same base. The main effect we will use is the strict 0 2, which you can find under the grunge category. We will use the second layer for the rust. Quick tip, make sure the model you are texturing has the rotation applied by pressing Ctrl A and apply scale. The Strix lens allows you to change the leaking of the rust vertically. The coverage will depend on the result you want. It will increase or decrease the quantity of Strix. Great, we have the base, but it's still not looking like rust. If you go to the metal category, you will find the rust node, allowing you to quickly add rust in your scene. We are going to use the second layer for the rust. Plug all the inputs and play a bit with the settings of the rust to match what you want. In order to make the edges between the rust and the paint layer a bit more distinct, I will add a combination of two math nodes. Adjust the settings but make sure the greater than node is not exceeding the value of the multiply node. Use a bump node to create the edge effect and plug it to the second layer. When there is rust, it's usually also on the edges and cavities. Let's make some space and add a strict node. This node compared to the strict 0 2 is acting based on the edges which are pointing to the z-axis. We mix those two with a lighter node and adjust the settings. Because we mix those two nodes, they are automatically affecting the normal. Combining the two streaks gives you a way more realistic result and it adds up details a little bit everywhere. Now that we have a rust effect, let's group the nodes we created by pressing Ctrl G and use it in other parts of the model. Because our objects have their origins at the same position, the streaks will match. If you go inside the node group and change any settings, it will be updated on all the materials you use the group in. I'll let you apply the effects on the other parts as a practice. Good, you know all the basics to make a really nice looking rust. If you want to learn more about how to make a realistic painted wood, I'll let you watch this video. See you on the next one.